Hello everyone. So today I want to work out an example involving Norton equivalence and AC circuit analysis. And I think a good point of this example is to show you how when we're working with AC circuits, all the same circuit analysis techniques apply as in the case with DC analysis, except that we work with impedances. So this is the problem here. We've got a dependent current source, an inductor, a capacitor, and a resistor. And we are given the following values. And what we want to find is we want to find the Norton equivalent impedance looking between these terminals A and B. So when it comes to working out these, these problems, the first step is you won't always want to find what the impedance is of all of your inductors and capacitors in the circuit. So we're given a frequency of 500 hertz, and we can go ahead and find out what Zc is, which is 1 over j omega c, plug in our values there, we get minus 5j ohms. And then we find our, the impedance of our, our inductor there, which is j omega l, and that ends up being j4 ohms. The next step then is to solve it just like you would any other DC analysis um, circuits problem. So we're going to find the, the Norton equivalent here, and we can see that we only have dependent sources, which means in order to find the Norton impedance, we've got to attach a test voltage source and um, find the ratio of the test voltage source and test current. So we go ahead and add that. And notice that we define our IT as going out of the positive terminal. That's important. Uh, that, that orientation is, is always given with our test voltage source. Now, I could have specified, I could have flipped the plus and minus signs here of this VT, but then I would have needed to define my IT as going this way instead. As long as you're consistent, the math will work out and you will be in good shape. Then to make you things easier, usually I go ahead and I just set VT equal to one volt or something simple like that, just one angle, zero degrees. So then we just use basic circuit analysis to find uh, the, the ratio that we are looking for. So VT over IT is our impedance we're looking for, and that ends up being one over IT because of we just set that equal to one volt. And I'm going to go ahead and use mesh analysis to solve this problem. You certainly can use um, a number of other techniques. So the first step for mesh analysis is to go ahead and define our mesh currents and slap on voltage polarities to all of your components. So we've got I1, I2, and then we have VR, VC, and VL. And remember, it does not matter what polarity you give these. You could, you could, I could have put plus here and then minus over there for VL. Um, it does not matter. In the end, the math will all work out. So once we've done that, then we have to do apply our uh, do our KVL uh, uh, loops. In this case, you can see that we have a current source here, so we can't apply KVL here. We can't apply KVL here, but we can apply KVL to this super mesh going all around. So we do the super mesh and collect all of our voltages in the loop. So let's walk through this equation here. So going in this direction, I hit a minus sign. So it's minus one volt. And then we go around and we hit the plus here. So it's plus, plus VR. And then we go around and then we hit plus VC. So we have plus VC. And then we continue to go around the loop. And then we hit plus VL, plus VL equal to zero. So that's, that's our KVL equation. Then the next step is we have to apply Ohm's law to express these voltages in terms of our mesh currents. So we've got our VR is equal to I2 times R. 
And that's because we've we've defined I2 as going from plus or I2 is going from plus to minus um, on the resistor there. Had we happened to define it as plus over here and minus over here, then it would have been equal to minus I2R. But then the sign would have flipped in this super mesh equation too. So in the end, the equation will all be the same. But basically, you know, assuming passive sign convention, we go through and we find out what all those voltages are. So like VC is going to be ZC times I2. And you can see it's going from plus to minus. So it's going to be plus I2 times ZC. And so you do that, um, again, for VL, and then plug in those values into your super mesh equation, like that. Then we've got our one equation there, but we need another equation because we have two unknowns, I1 and I2. So whenever you're doing mesh analysis, you have to express the current source values in terms of mesh currents. And so that gives you your second equation. We simply say that Ki1 is equal to I2 minus I1. And that order is really important. It's always the current that is in line with the current source minus the opposing current I1. So we have our two equations, our two unknowns. Now we can solve it. So you can see what I did here is I, I took these two equations and I simplified them so that you have your variables on one side and then your constants on the other side. And then I can go ahead and I can put, I can put these into a matrix, plug in the values that we were given, and then go ahead and stick this in MATLAB or your calculator and you can get I1 and I2. In this case, we're only interested in I1. So we find out what I1 is, then we can take the inverse of that, and our final answer, our Z Norton is equal to 4.63, angle minus 32.67 degrees. So that's the answer, and hopefully this gives you a good idea of just how it is that um, with this AC circuit analysis, it really is uh, exactly the same as DC analysis, except for the fact that you're dealing with impedances. So I hope that was helpful and I will see you again in the next video. Hello everybody, thanks for watching. If you found this content helpful, uh, would you please consider liking and subscribing to the channel? That will help other people find it. And if, if you won't do it for me, will you do it for my cat, Muon? Named after my favorite subatomic particle, by the way. So. Um, she will be very, very upset if you do not like and subscribe. So please, um, don't, don't disappoint. How, how could you say no to this cuteness?